So there's different kinds of lens implants. There's basically three on the market that are, that are used regularly. There's something called the Crystal Lens, something called the Restore, and something called the Technus Multifocal. So how can people remember all these, the Crystal Lens, the Restore, the te Technus te Multifocal? Yeah. Um, you know what, from a patient's perspective, I don't think that they necessarily need to memorize all those things because whatever doctor that they're going to be using is going to have their own personal preferences, their, their own experience, and they're going to know um, because those, each lens has its benefits and its, and, its, and its drawbacks. But patients now are getting smarter. They Google things and they Google Absolutely. the different kind of lenses and they can come in and say, how about this one? Uh, is this best for me? So uh, tell me about what these lenses can do now, these okay. new ones. Great question. About 90% of the time, people with these lenses won't have to wear glasses at all. At all? At all. You know, at least not full time. They might need a, a light pair of glasses for yeah. certain specific things, but basically can live glasses free. How wonderful. Oh, it's amazing. It, it's, you know, imagine a 75 year old, uh, you know, getting cataract surgery done and all of a sudden their eyes are like when they're 25. So what's the, what does the lens do that make them where they don't need glasses? Well, the crystal lens uh, model actually, uh, actually has the ability to move inside the eye a, a little bit and where the Restore and the other Technus multifocal, uh, they have little rings on, on the lens that actually breaks up the light uh, going into the eye. So, so part of the focus is for up close. So you and said, parts for distance. when you said multifocal, that mean, and I'm sorry, I interrupted you. You answered my question. You said one's for far out and one's for, and those rings make it where I can look close and I can look out and it adjusts or it finds what part I want to take to the retina. Basically your brain, uh -huh. your brain quickly adapts and knows, you know, where, where, which image you're spo is supposed to be looking at. It's much different than what's called you know, some people might experience something called monovision yeah. in their contact lenses. Uh, much different from monovision where basically someone sees, you know, distance with one eye and up close with the other eye, where the eyes don't work together at all. How do you like these new ones? What's your, what's your impression of those? I, I love them. Um, literally, I mean, people's lives can be changed. I would have no qualms with, at all without having to just put in my own eye if I needed to. It sounds too good to be true. Is, is, that, is there anything left to do as far as the lens that, other than what these new ones well, are doing? Sure there are. Like I've said, you know, there's benefits, but there are some drawbacks, okay? What, what are some drawbacks? Well, they're not perfect, okay? okay. So, so it's not 100%, right? And so they're not perfect. Some people with the multifocal type lens, which is the Restore or that, or that Technus, uh -huh. will have a little bit of uh, halos or, or glare a little bit more halos How and frequent glare, do right? they have halos? Because I've heard that it almost takes that away. You know what? Very common, but not usually a big deal. When I ask my patients, if I ask them, do you have it? They'll tell me yes. And then if I follow up that question, say, does it bother you? Yeah, not really. How about night driving? Usually not a problem. Uh, how about reading books? You know what? Reading books, usually very good. Uh, how about reading a menu in a dark restaurant? You know what, sometimes low light situations could be a, a little bit of trouble. Um, it just depends on, on the lens and the lighting, uh, but sometimes low, lens, low light reading can be a little bit more difficult. So now it's almost perfect, but next year, knowing you, I guys, the ophthalmologists, they'll have the perfect lens, and it's almost there, isn't it? Well, I tell you what, um, pretty soon there's gonna be lenses out that correct the up close vision and astigmatism, because right now, if you have a lot of astigmatism, you're not a good candidate for the up close, you know, wow. lens. And so they're going to be marrying those technologies. That's probably the next step. At some point, you know, maybe there'll be a, you know, a fluid that gets put into the eye that has the full range of the ability to, to, to do everything that the eye used to be able to do.